This is really all back with another video. Yes, sir. And today we will be discussing about why Damian Lillard need to be traded now. And this this is what I'm gonna start off. As I made this video, my friend gave me an article and he told me to read it and he told me he explained it after I read the article. I got a hold of the article and it talked about the Portland general manager talking about why he would not be willing to trade his young assets and young players for stars because he felt like this would be not a fair trade for them in terms of winning. What I have to say to that is that is blasphemous. That is blasphemous. In the words of Stephen A, that is truly blasphemous because why are you wasting Damian Lillard's time? You're not giving him the talent. Like, if you look at Portland Trailblazers' team, they have the roster to get to the playoffs and they're struggling. Last year, they had less than that. They had less talent than that, but they made it to the conference finals even though we did not feel like they were going to originally get that far. But you did this and you did not... You did not increase. You didn't get better from when you last started off. And that is the sickening thing about Portland because Portland has been in this situation for the past couple years. And this is what makes Portland not an attractive organization to stars or other talent because they have not shown you the ability to really be consistent with winning. Like CJ McCollum is not consistent enough for CJ. Carmelo is doing what he's doing, but he's not consistent enough for Damian Lillard. Like these talents, Whiteside, he's a good defensive player, but it's, he's not good enough to win. That team is not, that team, that team is just not ready. And this is why I'm making a video not to bash Dame and say, they need to trade him because Dame is not doing this. Dame is doing everything he possibly can. And this is the outcome I have in my mind that this is ha was this is going to have to happen to Dame. Dame is going to have to get traded to Milwaukee in order to show his greatness as a point guard, his greatness as a player, and help Milwaukee get to the finals and win. And you say, why can I just verify and say, the I mean, the Milwaukee Bucks would win if they traded and got Damian Lillard. This is why. Milwaukee is one star away from being the best team in the NBA. They have one of the greatest players in the NBA now, and I don't want to hear it. He's statistically better than LeBron. He's doing more than LeBron on both ends, and he has shown you that he can get far. He just haven't shown you that he can do all of this by himself, and this is what you do to give him something to elevate his game. You give him a point guard that has showed you that he can be better than Kyrie. You give him a point guard that is hungry to win. You give him a point guard that's just as loyal as him. And those two players will cause havoc. Damian Lillard would make Chris Middleton elevate his game. He would make Giannis elevate his game. And Giannis would do the same thing to Dame because it is a train reaction with the two players because they're so great. And then I have to go back to answer your question. Why do you think I can validate Milwaukee Bucks winning? Because Damian Lillard is just that good. And then you pair him up with the greatest player in the NBA. And that is your finals ticket. And I don't want no argument. Case closed. Those two players need to happen. Portland need to just do one thing right in their whole career. And just give Dame the opportunity to actually contend for a championship. Not just a playoff because y'all are struggling, but for a championship. Dame has been one of the most underrated point guards for years. For years. And then I know many people want to join on the bandwagon when he got to go to state because he beat Oklahoma, because they beat Denver. But realistically, where was y'all at when he really needed y'all support? Y'all was like the avatar. Y'all was gone when he really needed y'all. Now Dame needs a team to really show you what he can do. He needs a team that shows you that he's better than Kyrie. A team that shows you that he's better than Ben Simmons. A team that can show you that he is the best point guard. Not just top five, that he is the best point guard in the NBA. Now, with that being said, if you liked today's video, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. And do not forget to hit the notification bell for more amazing content because we're on the grind. Yes, uh...